What's up guys, it's me Omar from buymeaniphone.com. Today I have another product I want to show you today. This is something that was sent to me free for review by Adonit. And it is the Adonit Jet or Jot Pro, I should say, stylus. And Adonit is a company that we met at CES and they make really cool high-end uh, stylus. Styli, I guess you could say. Um, and so this is one of the ones that they offer. This one is only retails for $29.99, so $30. They have a, a much nicer one that you may have heard of. That I think it's called the Touch. Which is actually a Bluetooth stylus, and that one's uh, you know touch sensitive or, or pressure sensitive, and it has a, a bunch of other cool features. But this one's a, the the little bit more affordable one. Now I will go on record and say this right now: I've used many stylus before. I've reviewed a few of them on the side, and I've, I've played with a few. This is my all-time favorite stylus of all of them, only because um, I do not like using the stylus that have really big rubber tips. So like this is an example of a normal stylus, that type of tip that it has on the end of it. It's usually real big. And just because of the way the capacitive screen works on the iPad, it has to have a certain amount of surface area to be touching the screen at one time, like your finger. That's why you can't use your fingernail, you can't use the end of a pin or something like, something like that. It has to be a larger surface. So usually this type of rubber tip is about the size of what it will respond to. So the thing that Adana has done, very geniusly actually, is they've created a tip that uh, will be able to have that much surface area touching the screen, but it will still give you the sensation or the feel of using a regular pen. And so that's my biggest issue. When I want to sketch on my iPad, I'm, I, normally when I sketch, I use a pencil and the pencil has a very fine tip. When you use a stylus, the tip is not, not very fine at all. It's very big and bulbous. I don't like that. So let me go ahead and show you this. So first off, it has a nice real rubber grip right here. It has a real aluminum shaft, so it's really sharp looking. It has a screw off tap, uh, cap, so you screw it off, and you can actually put that the tip of it right there, and then it'll hold it there in place. And you can see the tip right there, and I'll give you a close up in a second. This is this tip is what uh, allows the stylus to work because it, that's the minimum smallest area that has to be touched on the screen for it to respond to that to that touch being on there. But because it comes to a point and it uses this little uh, ball joint right here you're able to use it like a regular pen and I love drawing with this. This is probably one of the few stylus that I use to draw on my iPad that I actually feel like I'm drawing with a pencil. All the other stylus you use, besides the, the Bluetooth ones of course, they all have to be like this type of, like a big bulbous type of little tip on the end of it. But this is really smooth um, and it just feels real natural. And although you can see the disc on there when you're touching the screen, you tend to just forget about it because it, it does have a little bit of give to it. So when you press down, it does feel like you're tapping with a pen. And after a while, you tend to just not even notice that the little disc is on there when you're using it. I really enjoy using it. It looks really nice. It's real sharp. And um, I think it's well worth the money. If you're, especially if you're, the, if you're an artist and you're trying to get into maybe doing a lot of sketching on your iPad. You may have uh, felt the same way I have about the, using the other stylus that have um, you know, the bigger, broader tip on it. But this is a really cool idea that Adonit uh, has come up with. And it seems to be working out for them pretty well. So hopefully I'll be able to get a chance to check out their pro version of it. Uh, with the Bluetooth one that they have that has a lot more features than this one does. Obviously it's a little more expensive. But I think it's, uh, if you're one of those people that does, to, does like to do a lot of sketching on touch, on touch screens, capacitive screens, I think it's something that you'll need to have to get that real true sensation of using the pen. So, oh, I did forget to mention one more thing. That if you do uh, have an iPad, iPad 2 through 4, and it has a magnetic snap on there. It is magnetic, so this it has a magnet built into this as well, so it will stick to the iPad. You see right there. I'm not sure how often you would use that, but it's kind of a nice little handy feature to have on there. So that does stick to place on there on the side of the of the iPad. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. If you have any questions about this product, post them below. I'll do my best to get back to you, and I'll see you guys in the next video review.